One in three Americans is estimated to suffer from a neurological disorder in their lifetime. Studying the brain, or neuroscience, is one of the last frontiers of science, the next generation of discovery. Neuroscience is about us. At the University of Rhode Island, the Interdisciplinary Neuroscience Program is gathering researchers and educators from a wide range of disciplines to try to put the pieces of this puzzle we call the brain together by posing and answering key questions about our nervous system. The importance of the interdisciplinary work that's going on here at URI is to be able to understand the brain from different aspects and different points of view the point of view of the engineer, the point of view of the pharmacist, the point of view of the uh, language specialist. The University of Rhode Island has been a leader in various elements of neuroscience for several years. It's a critical area. I think it's important to millions upon millions of Americans and people across the globe. It's one of the vast frontiers of science that has, remains relatively unexplored. And we think we can make some real contributions in this area. And it's the interdisciplinary research work being done by the INP team here at the University of Rhode Island that will continue, thanks to those who are engaged in finding solutions and treatments for neurological disorders and neurodegenerative diseases. As scientists, we need to collaborate. We need to work together um, to understand, to develop interventions that will, uh, are more likely to be effective and to lead to new and improved treatments over time. It is not work just being done in the laboratory, but clinical activity is underway at URI to empower people coping with communicative disorders that occur when disease or trauma impacts the brain and in turn, our ability to communicate. In the case of dementia or Alzheimer's, we know that that is a progressive disease. And to date, we don't know of any cure for that but we do know that if you engage people in cognitive exercises, you can help them maximize their level of function to have the best quality of life possible. Work being done here focusing on education, healthcare, and our aging society has inspired Tom and Kathy Ryan to create the George and Ann Ryan Institute for Neuroscience, complementing and enhancing existing research here at URI. I believe there's really an epidemic around neurodegenerative disease um, and it obviously affected me personally. My dad, he retired at uh, a young age, was extremely healthy, rock solid, uh, kind of bigger than life guy and uh, he had a stroke and then subsequent uh, dementia and Alzheimer's and I saw what it did to him. Uh, what it did to my mother, our family. Uh, it, it's obvious the economic costs are one thing, but the, um, the, the personal cost and the emotional costs are another. It's, it, it steals memories, uh, it saddles caregivers. I saw my mom's health go down. It's a puzzle where each one of us is working on it. The Ryan Institute will be the glue that connects everything together and makes it whole. We are not going to solve these problems facing our society immediately. We know that. But we are convinced we can make progress. And we can make progress rapidly. And as we make progress, our understanding will grow and the opportunities for students and others working in this area will continue to grow for a long time to come. This is not gonna be solved by one institution. It's gonna be a, a, a national effort, in fact, a global effort. But here in Rhode Island, there's a lot of work being done. Um, a lot of work being done at Lifespan, at the Prince Institute. There's a lot of work being done at the Brain Institute at Brown. There's work being done at Butler. There's work being done at the VA hospital. So uh, there's numerous groups that are working together, and working on it now, and then I think collectively, uh, if we work together, we'll have a synergistic effect and it'll just be uh, a much better result. Tom and Kathy Ryan have created an incredible legacy here at the University of Rhode Island. This may well be, in my judgment, the most significant thing that Tom and Kathy Ryan and their family have ever done. That will probably outlast certainly them, uh, certainly me, 
and will continue to be an important part of the University of Rhode Island, an important part of research and education broadly for, for generations to come. If we do it right and we work together and we increase research dollars and we get more faculty and we get more money in the state and we find some cures, we find some breakthroughs, the economic development will follow. Right? The, the, but we're not doing this for economic development. We're doing this to try to solve the major problem in this country and this society. And if we do that and do it better than anybody else, we will become the center of excellence. I know it sounds grandiose, but I think uh, people and institutions kind of live up to your expectations. So I think the fact that we can do something and really make a difference uh, for the state, for the university, and for society as a whole, it's, uh, it's why we're doing it.